What's up guys, Phantom here. Uh, man, sorry for the delay in our videos. Uh, uh, we just really haven't had any had anything we can do in the shop. We're we're waiting on parts. Uh, we're 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 at a stopping point on the 55 where we can't go any further without more parts. Uh, I can't do anything on my truck until I get my transmission out of the 55, so I can put it in the truck and get the motor set where it's supposed to be, so I can build uh, the hot piping and everything. Um, we haven't been doing any racing. It's just been kind of boring around here, so. We apologize, um, but we're not going to try to force feed you guys just a bunch of uh, weird content. So, um, have had some people ask about the uh, Blue Silverado SS in some of our videos and uh, Facebook posts. Uh, that's my new tow rig. Um, I got rid of my Duramax decided it's not really for me uh, i can't really afford the upkeep on it on one of those uh, they're amazing i love the power but i don't really tow anything heavy anymore uh, sean used to have a second enclose that i would uh, pull the og in occasionally and we don't have that anymore so all i have is my open trailer that i pull shop truck with and uh i just didn't need it anymore so i sold it I was on the on the hunt for another truck. I'd, I'd been kind of wanting a uh, older model extended cab truck for a while, you know, like a 99 to 07. That's kind of my wheelhouse of truck. So I uh, looked at a uh, looked at a few trucks after I sold the Duramax. They were all kind of junk. Um, decided that I'm you know I might want a Silverado SS. I wanted one when I was younger. Couldn't afford them. Turns out I still can't afford them. These things are. They're, they're pretty crazy uh, with, with what people are asking for them. Uh, I got lucky though, and this thing just happened to pop up for sale not a mile from the shop. So uh, went to the guy's house uh, and bought it. So now I'm gonna get started on this thing. Uh, I don't have any real big plans for it. I'm not gonna try to make it fast. Um, it's it's gonna be put to work. It's, it's my new tow rig, so. Uh, as you guys know, these things come with the 4060. They're kind of junk. Uh, it is the all-wheel drive. It's a 2003. So, um, to make this thing dependable, I'm gonna swap a 4080 in it. So I've already I've already got one of those uh, bought. I've got everything I did. I got everything I need to make the swap. I've got the 4080 converter, uh, cross member, drive shaft, front drive shaft. And uh, the miscellaneous wiring, and then I can handle the uh, the tuning with HP tuners. So uh, I've got a few things I like to do to uh, every vehicle I get. Uh, the first thing I had done to this thing was took it to the detail shop. It uh, this thing's pretty nice. It's not immaculate by any means, but it's it's pretty nice. But the interior was kind of trashed. Uh, it needed a new headliner. Had a headliner put in it. Uh, then I took it to our detail guy and the main reason for taking it to the detail guy was it had the top half was plastic dipped Silver that was just it was gross looking, but uh, I wanted to know what was under that I figured it probably needed a paint job And that's why they plastic dipped over it and it turns out underneath the plastic dip was just more nice paint So I got lucky there uh, Got it home uh, I've been driving it uh, Called kicker said hey, I got a new truck. I need a system and uh, they sent me their uh, KS series uh, four by sixes, uh, some six and a half components with tweeters. And uh, so I got all that installed and they also sent uh, some, uh, a pair of CVRT 10 inch subs. Uh, I would play y'all some music and show you how this thing thumps, but of course Facebook, or not Facebook, but uh, YouTube would, would hit me on that deal and and uh, silence the video. So just take my word for it. Sounds really good, especially for, uh, I'm not a professional stereo installer, but uh, it turned out good. So I uh, got that done. I've got the plans for the 4L80. Some other stuff that I like to do whenever I get a new vehicle is, oh man, nobody can drive around here. Uh, I like to use seafoam. Uh, they don't pay us. We don't have any sort of deal with them. We don't get free product or anything like that But whenever we get a new vehicle I'll put a can of it in the crankcase And then I'll put a can of it in the fuel tank go fill up with gas 
I'll drive it home and back, which is about two hours, and then uh, I'll change the oil. It may not do anything at all. I feel like it does. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, so that's what I'm fixing to do here. Um, just about back to the shop. Went and bought, I went to O'Reilly's, got me a couple cans of it, and uh, it's nothing special. Uh, I get quite, I've, I've talked about this before in some Facebook posts, and everyone asked me, you know, what kind of process it is, if it's hard, I'll, I'll show you. It's, it's literally nothing. It's just like pouring oil in a car. Uh, you can also, uh, you can put it in your brake booster line and uh, let it suck it in and it will supposedly actually clean the tops of the pistons and, and the valves and stuff like that. I don't know about that. I have done that before too. I'm not going to do it on this truck because uh, I may have to plan, I may plan to uh, pull the heads and, and do a cam swap on it just so I can, uh, I just want to know what this motor looks like. I really don't know anything about the truck. I've, I pretty much bought it sight unseen. Um, the rear main does leak. So whenever I change the transmission, I'll, I'll put a new uh, rear cover on it with a new, with a new seal. But uh, at some point I would like to see inside this motor and, uh, and just kind of see what shape it's in. It seems to be pretty sound other than that. It doesn't seem to use oil other than the leak that it has. Um, but that's about it. Like I said, no big plans. It's getting a 4 lady swap uh, very soon. Um, I might possibly do a cam in it and uh and do a video and show you guys how that goes for those of you who may not know how easy it is to put a cam in, in one of these ls motors in the vehicle uh other than that nothing um no power adders you know unless i put some nitrous on it or something uh if there's you know some sort of daily type race that i can't enter shop truck in then you know i might call nitrous express and and uh get a small kit but probably not um that's that's it you know i may do may do headers and a and a better sounding muffler uh there's a lot of drone with this thing uh, it's got a flow master on it um other than that the truck's completely stock it's not like i said it's not an immaculate shape it is in really good shape though um get out here and kind of do a walk around of it uh, it's kind of dirty right now i just made a I went to a Garden City, Kansas yesterday to pick up some uh, seats for a, a, a project that Sean's got going on for Aaron. Uh, so that was a good eight hour trip that I, I had to uh, get real acclimated with this thing. So uh, just kind of show you what it looks like here. Uh, it's the Arrival Blue. I, I wanted a blue or a black one. And uh, there's my smart car too. Y'all can laugh, but I love that car. It gets 40 miles to the gallon. It was like I got a raise at work whenever I got that thing. Uh, Arrival Blue. Uh, it's got a few dings here and there that I'll eventually want to get taken out. But uh, for now, it's 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 what I wanted. So that's it. Um, I'll get the sea foam out here and, and show you how I put it in and uh, show you how easy it is. And, you guys can make a decision on whether or not that's a process that you want to do or not. So, get the hood popped here. Like I said, we don't get paid from Seafoam. Uh, they don't give us this product. It's like nine or ten bucks at O'Reilly's. Uh, this is just something I like to do. Like I said, it may not make a difference whatsoever. I like to do it. So, pull your oil cap off. And then very carefully pour it in there. I pour the whole can in. Boom, done. All right, had to go in the shop and uh, get some tools. I, I messed up opening this second bottle, but all right, open up your gas lid. Pour it in. Uh, so I actually, I, I, I use Seafoam a lot. Uh, in shop truck, I'll run it probably every other tank or so, a V85, just to help keep everything real good and clean. Um, a lot of people, including myself, have trouble with fuel systems getting dirty uh, with the 85 around here, so. Uh, I run Seafoam, it helps it out. Uh, you can see 
Under the hood here, it's pretty stock other than the SMB cold air intake. Pretty clean though. Uh, I did put an excess power battery in. Um, that's another thing I usually do to most vehicles I get. It's the uh, A30, A3400 is what fits these trucks and most other vehicles. But that's it. The interior is kind of dirty right now. But uh, there's my sub box. Uh, the driver's seat, you know, it needs some work like they all do. Uh, this thing's got 180,000 miles on it, so it's not too bad, honestly. But all right, so I got my seafoam poured in the uh, in the crankcase and in the gas tank. I'll go fill up with 91 here, and then I'll make the drive home and back tomorrow and change the oil. Um, like I said, it may not do anything in my mind it does so I'm gonna continue to do it um, but you know that's that's good that's pretty much it for this truck like I said no no big build planned I do have some stuff that that I want to do with it to to kind of show how easy these things are to work on and why I love them so much like uh, this thing still has a clutch fan on it um, I'm gonna show you guys how to put electric fans on it um, I'll do a video about the 4L80 swap. Uh, I'll have a full detailed list of all the parts that you need to complete that in one of these trucks. They're a little different in the SS because of the uh, the all-wheel drive transfer case. So uh, you got to get a, a, a input shaft adapter from Mark Williams or send your stock one off to be modded by someone that does that. But it's, it's pretty straightforward, just like every other 4L80 swap on these trucks. You get the cross member from my buddy, DTR Fab. Um, you can either have your stock drive shaft shortened, or you can have a new one made from a local drive shaft place. I had a drive shaft made from a uh, dynamic drive line. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like I said, nothing, nothing big planned. Uh, I, I will, I will I'll honestly probably do a cam swap in it just so I can make a video on it and show you guys how that's done. Um, there's probably thousands of videos on YouTube that already show you. I'm going to make another one. Um, our fans may not watch all those other channels, but they watch ours. So we'll, uh, we'll do that to this. I'll, I'll honestly probably pull the heads too, just so I can kind of get a look at the, uh, cylinder walls and and probably put some new lifters and an oil pump in it but other than that that's that's going to be it uh this is my new daily slash tow rig and i'm going to enjoy it so i appreciate you guys uh stepping in clicking in sticking with me through this whole deal uh i'll get with sean tomorrow we got some stuff that we can finally do to the 55 so uh, we'll have another video coming out here pretty soon and uh, we'll get Sean's take on why we've slowed down so much. Um, it sucks not having anything to do. Uh, we are taking the OG Murder Nova to a race at Extreme Ra uh, Raceway Park down in Texas next weekend. Uh, Reaper is having his, his uh, no prep race down there. So we're gonna hit that up, probably be our last race of the year. Then we got a bunch of stuff planned for it. Uh, the OG is gonna be getting rewired. Uh, we talked to Don Dial today about hanging some new uh, carbon fiber parts on it. The, the trunk area needs to be retinned. It took a pretty good beating at the last uh, show that we did. Uh, it needs new quarters. The roof needs to be fixed. So we got a lot. We got a lot to do to it, and it's going to have to happen pretty quick because supposedly we're going to be filming with it a bunch next year again too. Um, we have some big things in the works for the new car. As you guys seen, uh, if you follow our social media, Sean sold Kilo. Um, so our, our plan with that is to uh, take that money and help us be more competitive for No Prep Kings next year. Uh, so that's that. We'll, uh, like I said, we'll get with Sean tomorrow, get his take on everything. Let him, let him tell you guys what's going on. But for right now, uh, I appreciate you clicking in, knowing that it's just me. Um, we'll we'll get back on all of our on, on all of our big projects as soon as we can. So, um, 
we'll see you guys next time and be sure to like subscribe comment all that good stuff it you know comments go a long way on on making the video more visible to everyone so drop us a comment tell us what you like what you don't like and we will see you next time